All right, quick video today. I'm gonna test one of these balancers that I see everyone using. This one right here, it will do quite a bit of cells all the way to 24 cells. In this case, I have this battery here that uh, the cells are quite mismatched. They're not balanced at all. We put these, this pack out of like just a bunch of random cells that we had from different packs. And so that's a result of that. They're all right like that, right? So this little guy here, which I usually use, uh, well, it's very slow, right? Um, and it only does eight cells. So this is at a 10 cell pack, 10 in series, 42 uh, volts maximum 36 volts uh um 36 volts what uh nominal and uh we need it to charge it because uh we're gonna use it for our forklift i'm trying to see how much runtime we get off our forklift with this uh pack right here and uh but we need to balance it and i'm gonna put this here so let's see how long it takes for this uh balancer to work right so the thing is that this one doesn't show you anything. There's no information. And I have this one here set up so that it can show me. You see how unbalanced it is, right? So we'll come back in a few hours and then see how it's doing. One hour later. All right, so here's about 24 hours later. And the battery is all pretty much balanced. So at least within 23 million. Look at that guy. It does work. This was uh, very, very unbalanced uh, yesterday. And now here's something very interesting that's happened. When you compare the before and after voltages, and you put both of these screens side to side, you will see that cell one through five get discharged but cell number six gets charged uh six and seven get charged and then eight again gets discharged it kind of almost gets over discharged because now it's the lowest one after 24 hours so this balancer here doesn't just burn energy like most of the other balancers that this particular unit seems to transfer energy from higher voltage cells to lower state of charge cells right so this is pretty good because then it's a better use of the energy that's available in the battery and uh, you end up hopefully with a better balanced battery pack in a quicker time